Good morning. Good morning. No, it's actually quite late. It's the evening. <laughs> I am using a molded stone from the molds from Happy Dotting Company. Don't forget to use my discount code Rachel's Rocks Canada when you purchase molds or anything from there. Um, I've painted my molded heart black, two coats of black paint. I will be using some dotting tools and my fine lining brush and some Mayan gold. Now you can use a pencil to draw your design on first if you want to, but I'm only gonna use <laughs> some tape and make a circle because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a mandala on here, but it's gonna come from the side of the heart. You do it from wherever you want to. You could do it right from the center. I just like to start it off with a circular shape to start with and then I'm gonna wing it. I'm going to wing it, y'all. Um, so I am using Folk Art Mayan Gold. You can use whatever kind of metallic paint you want to use. If you prefer silver, blue, purple, whatever. You do you. Uh, if you guys have noticed, I have started selling merch on my YouTube channel. Um, everything is great quality. I do recommend if you're going to purchase uh, some of the items are a little bit uh, fit better if you order a size up in clothing uh, for shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. So order a size up and they will ship it to you. I believe it's printed within three shipping days, uh, three business days. Uh, so you might be able to see my merch shelf below this video. And if you can't, check my store tab on my YouTube channel as well. There's a little tab at the top and you will see my store. I will be adding all sorts of stuff. So now this kind of looks like a sunflower. Uh, I did some dots. I tried to do them evenly spread apart. So I started one in the center, one on either side, and then I went in between each one of those and I kept going in between. You guys have seen me do this before. Then I did like a wishbone um, with a dot on the end of the wishbone, on the pointy bit, so it's not so pointy and sharp. I like to add dots, so I got some big dots there, and I'm using my fine lining brush, and I just did two little swoops underneath our dot, two little swoops, two little swoops. If you need to slow this down or pause it, please mute it if you're gonna slow it down because I sound like a monster, and I don't wanna scare anyone. Uh, animals and babies and stuff like that that might reside in your home. <laughs> um, also, if you want to pause it, I'm going to be right here as soon as you get back. So that's the best part about it. If I'm going too fast for you, you go at your speed, just slow it down or pause it. And I promise you, I'll be right back. I'll be right here with you. So I did some lines coming from there. I'm not measuring anything out as you can see and nothing is perfect I will adjust it and straighten it out if I don't like how it looks um, but I'm kind of trying just to make sure that my gold lines are nice and thin um, I can go over those gold lines and thin them out a little bit when they're dry with black paint so it's okay now I'm doing a dot in the center of those larger wishbone dots <laughs> that's what I'm going to call them. Um, but I brought it down just a little bit lower than those dots. And now I'm walking the dots from that center dot over to the bigger wishbone dots. I hope to Lord I'm making sense to you. Um, like I said, slow it down so that you can watch what I'm doing if I am not able to explain it. Guess what, guys? I've got my notifications turned off today. <laughs> So I won't be interrupted with that, but Maple's in heat, <laughs> so she might start screaming outside the door. Uh, yeah, and if that happens, I'm going to pause this, and we might not be uploading for a little bit longer. She has an appointment with the vet, though. <laughs> she doesn't know about it, but Maple is going to be fixed. Um, so yeah, more wishbones. I don't know why I like wishbones so much, you guys. I just think they look cute. Um, I call them petals too, but someone told me they look like wishbones and you know what? Wishbones are supposed to be lucky, aren't they? So wishbones it is. Now, when I'm done this, you guys might like it better with no color, but I am going to be filling it in with color. So I'm just doing some dots 
in this area here, a long strand in the center and then two shorter strands in the side. Once again, just walking the dots. Uh, as you walk the daughter, <laughs> Um, you run out of paint and the dots get smaller. So it just kind of looks nice when you're done. Um, now I'm putting a black dot in the center of these big gold ones because the gold is dry now and it looks like a little circle. So it changes everything. It's not just a dot there now, it's a little circle that we created um, without struggling. I know I struggle with circles unless I use some kind of guide like my tape you watched me use it <laughs> anything circular on my desk gets used so you watch out circular items I'm coming for you <laughs> uh so now i'm gonna do kind of like a lotus this is what it's gonna look like it's kind of going to be similar to lotus flowers on the very end of our wishbones here you do what you want to do. If this is just like, what are you doing, woman? Don't do it. Don't do it. You come to my channel for inspiration and some goofiness. Um, and that's what I'm going to bring out to you. <laughs> so I don't have the lotus flower thing looking like yet. You'll see it soon. But I did a swoop between those soon to be lotus and now I'm pinstriping the swoops because you guys know I like pinstripes, right? I love doing little stripes. I do have to thin out some of my stripes with black paint, which is what I'm doing right now. But if you don't really mind how thick your lines are, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just trying to make this kind of look like a lace, a golden lace doily that has been like laid on top of a heart. Um... So I want it to be intricate, but not too difficult so that you guys can't do it. Um, I'm right now just thinning out some of my my gold areas. That's one thing I like to do is, is stop and thin some stuff out once it's dry. That way I don't have to go over the whole thing at the end because it's, it's kind of boring. Cleanup is kind of boring. <laughs> so I am putting a dot in those center, just another dot right on the tip of the wishbone that we drew or painted, sorry, and uh, just kind of making the center of our lotus flower have a dot there. Um, so you're going to see me change that up and add two more petals to either side. Here's one and there's two. So now it kind of, kind of is similar to a little uh, lotus but you call it what you want. Um, that's just kind of what I was going for is like a flower petals on the very edge. And we'll do a little bit of dotting around these uh, petals. But anyway, when you see it, I'm gonna leave it there for you to look at for a moment once I've got all of my gold and black work done. And then you can decide if you just wanna keep it like that or if you wanna add color like I'm about to do. I'm gonna be doing a couple of different things. I'm gonna be using some of my chrome powder. Uh, you guys have seen me use that many times. Sometimes I just put it on top of paint and make stuff glitter. Um, but this time we're gonna make it shine like chrome. So I'm gonna show you another way to use it, which is super fun and it changes the look of things a lot. And you can get them in all different colors too. So. Uh, one of my favorites is like a goldish green, and uh, it's beautiful. So that's what I'm going to be using on this today. So I'm literally dotting around my lotus flowers now. Um, so I'm going to do that. You might not be able to see every corner and, and little bit of my heart because of the shape of it, and I'm going along the sides. Um, so you might not be able to see it, but that's all I'm doing. I'm just dotting around it. Start with a bigger dot, and then walk the dots over the little petals of the lotus flower. And all of this is optional. There's no rules here. You don't need to do exactly what I'm doing. Just try and make it um, how you want it. And then you decide if you wanna color it or not. So it's kind of like we're creating a little coloring book, uh, coloring rock, <laughs> and then you get to decide if you wanna color it in. So I put another black dot inside other big dots you can see 
Uh, any of the big dots that I have on here, except for these outer ones, they're all going to have a black dot in the center once they're dry. And I'm actually going to be adding crystals. Yeah, yes, there will be glitter, there will be shine. You will not mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, you guys, I'm adding some teal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like an ombre effect. I'm starting with my darkest teal right now. I start with big dots first, then I fill it in with little dots. I don't know if you guys have done that before, but I have done that in some of my past tutorials. So what I'm going to do for my next area is I'm going to add a little bit of white. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Uh, I'm just lightening my teal color a little bit with a little bit of white. Then, look at how cool that looks when I stir it up that fast. Um, and then big dots first, and then fill it in with little dots. And I'm going to do that all the way up through these stripes that I have in this area. Just keep adding a little bit of white. Uh, you can start with a dark purple or a dark maroon or red or orange. It's totally up to you. I like teal and I have a big bottle of it that I need to use before it gets all clumpy and bumpy. So you might see a little bit extra teal on my rocks in the next little while. Um, but yeah, you can do a lot with it just by adding a little bit of white. You can make all sorts of ombre things. Ombre. Ombre. Whatever. However people like to pronounce it. <laughs> I get in trouble for everything I pronounce. So uh, can I just blame it on, you know, I'm goofy? <laughs> so I've added a little bit of white again, and that's all I'm going to do all the way across for these larger stripes, these larger pinstripes that we did. Uh, and I'm going to switch it up and do all different colors all the way along, but I will leave a list of the colors that I use in the description of the video. Uh, so don't forget to check that, including like the chrome powder, my fine lining brush, my resin tutorial, the type of resin that I use. Everything will be listed in the description for you guys. And if I forget something that's major and you really need to know uh, and it's not in the description, please send me a comment or an email to rachelsrockscanada at gmail.com. And I don't know why I sang that to you. <laughs> I don't know why I sing in any of these videos. Um, but yeah, I will do the best I can to include everything. But sometimes, sometimes my brain doesn't work. And I have absolutely no excuse. Um, although I could say it's because I live with three male species. <laughs> can I use that as my excuse? I love men. It's just there's an abundance of them here. <laughs> They might be making me go crazy. Save me. Um, so now I'm using lavender. You don't have to use lavender. I just like purple. So I wanted to make sure that, um, and I'm not dotting it. I wanted to make sure I had some purple in here in a couple spots. Um, but like you can see, I'm not dotting everything. I'm dotting only some of the stuff. Um, it's it's fun to dot, but I want like a different different textures all the way through. So I'm going to dot again here. This is going to be an ombre effect from um, three three different colors. So it's going to be, uh, oh, what color did I use? I'm pretty sure it's um, pink melon, pink melon, pure pumpkin, and then yellow. So I'm just kind of switching up the colors as I go along and I, I blend in the dots together. So they just kind of look nice together and they blend in and it goes from uh, one shade to another. So once again, I'm showing you some more uh, ombre. So you can dot things and it looks totally different. See, I'm just doing random dots. Doesn't really matter what size. I'm not doing big dots than small dots. Um, but it changes everything totally uh, when you change up the size of your dots and the way you fill it in. So next. <laughs> I wanted some green in here, so we're going to use some Martha Stewart Swing Set Green. And I'm just going to dot in this little area right near the purple. I'm going to be adding also some glitter. I believe it's going to be just Dragonfly Glaze today, guys. We're not going to put Hologram 2796 on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we're actually going to be using, uh, what is it called? It is Violet Blue and Green Shift Dragonfly Glaze, and it's number 44383. So it kind of shifts from purplish, bluish to green, um, and it looks super, super nice. Um, I'm actually going to put it in between all of my little pinstripes that you can see right there. So it's barely noticeable. I don't fill it in all the way. I just do a pinstripe of glitter in between the gold pinstripes. And then it still dries to look black, but when you turn it, all of those glitters shift and it just looks magnificent. So right now I'm just fixing some of my lines before I add glitter um, because that's the last thing I'm gonna do is work with my glitters. So one of them is the chrome powder glitter, which I will be using nail polish. Um, it's a UV LED top coat. Um, just making sure that my lines here are all straight and not too thick anywhere. Um, but yes, you guys have seen me use nail polish top coat before I dry it under a UV light. Um, today I'm going to be using clear. Uh, here's that dragonfly glaze. It's so beautiful so beautiful it's a very fine fine glitter it's smaller than hologram 2796 so it gives it a whole different look guys and it looks beautiful so i am putting it in between those lines right now um so yeah i will be using the top coat very very soon on the little lotus petals that we've created here and i know it's strange that they're not going to be pink <laughs> but you can do them pink if you want uh lotus are pink pink and white and stuff like that so but these are not going to be your standard lotus they're going to be chrome lotus flowers <laughs> just work with me and my imagination guys i just dropped my rock and you didn't even notice and i didn't hurt it <laughs> did not break so you can use either or top coat the johens is from I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's from the pinkchair.ca. Please use my discount code, uh, Rachel Mitchell at the pink chair so that you can get yourself some chrome dust and powders and shell powders and all glitters of any kind and crystals. Um, don't forget to visit there because you can get everything. Um, now I'm doing, I did the yellowish green chrome on the lotus flowers and it's just a makeup sponge and the powder. You rub it over top of where you've put the top coat. You cure the top coat for 20 to 30 seconds, depending on your lamp. And then you rub the powder onto it and it makes it look chrome. Then um, I did it on all the little dots and I'm gonna be adding crystals very, very soon. I don't wanna ruin it for you to show you the finished shiny product. Um, so I'm gonna add these crystals really quick and hopefully you don't really notice how beautiful it is already because I like the end when I show you the finale. <laughs> so ignore this part. I'm just showing you how I put crystals on with a little white wax pencil and I do it when my resin has only cured for five to seven hours so that the crystals stay glued in and locked in for good. Um, and now, here we go. Are you prepared? Get your eyeballs ready. Look at that, guys. That has been resined. I have added crystals to specific dots that I wanted crystals to have um, a spot for. And everything looks fabulous. Look at everything has its little spot. Glitter, chrome, crystals, dots, color. Everything looks beautiful. And it's all on a heart. Guys, don't forget to check out my store for my merch. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for being the greatest, most wonderful. No, no drama, no mean people at all. You guys are just amazing. I want you all to know how much I love you and appreciate for you coming back every time 
and thank you for waiting for my videos to come out every week. I'm trying to get some more up. I hope you love this. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you keeping it black and gold or black and silver or are you going to add some color? Are you going to add glitter, crystals? Visit Etsy, Happy Dot and Company. Visit thepinkchair.ca and get painting, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon.